Blast noise, baby! Yes! I got him! I got him! What is up, everybody? It is Master Rob here. Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Go episode. Now, today is a huge one. There are two kind of big things I want to talk about today. Number one is kind of the updates to Pokemon Go, what's just been updated, and future updates that are coming very soon. And number two is what I did last night, which was absolutely crazy. We had the best Pokemon Go session. So much footage to show you guys, so it's going to be really, really hyped. I hope you're excited for that. Before we get into what I did last night and some really cool new Pokemon being evolved uh, on my account and my account being leveled up, I want to talk about the update that has just happened, kind of like a behind the scenes update, and also an update that they're going to be doing hopefully very, very soon, uh, the next kind of wave of Pokemon and the wave of uh, features and whatnot coming into the game real, real soon. So starting off, obviously, the new Pokemon, the Generation 2 Pokemon, um, is meant to be happening actually sooner than people think. Uh, apparently it's going to happen at the end of this month. I'm not sure about that. I think that will be a little bit too soon, but whenever it happens, it's going to be great. Now, the second generation of Pokemon were kind of okay. Three legendary kind of hounds, the dogs. Uh, as you might, as people kind of called them, which were, they were cool, but they weren't really, they weren't, they were nothing compared to the original. But still, once everyone's captured the original, then hopefully the second generation should unlock and that should be absolutely awesome. So in terms of the first generation that are out at the moment, nobody has caught them all. Nobody's found Ditto yet, which is really hard obviously to find, and none of the legendaries have been caught. Someone has completed the Pokedex, but not the regional side, and I'm going to try and be like the first to complete the regional side, so stay tuned for something absolutely awesome. Uh, and then in terms of updates as well, there's been kind of teasers and people on Reddit and stuff saying uh, what they are like in the next updates. Not obviously just new Pokemon, new legendaries and whatever, but breeding. Breeding is a really big thing. Um, also, like the, uh, you remember Pikachu could actually go down into his like unevolved state called, it was like Pichu or Piku or something, I can't even remember. This little baby Pikachu thing that was absolutely pointless, but really cool. Uh, things like that, uh, obviously breeding would be a huge thing. Battling, one-on-one -on -one battling has been kind of spoken about by Niantic, so that's pretty damn cool. Uh, so hopefully one-on-one -on -one battle should have s happen soon. And of course, trading. Pretty much the whole thing Pokemon, well in my eyes, Pokemon is trading. It's a trading game. And uh, to not have trading was kind of weird, so hopefully trading will be coming in the next update. So that's kind of an overview of what is to come. What just happened in the update of what just happened last night? Well, they kind of changed a few things about how Pokemon spawn, uh, how Sometimes you can find kind of um, an area that is just a spawner for a certain type of Pokemon. For example, down the road from us, we've got a Pidgey spawner. And it will spawn every time you go up to it, four Pidgeys out of nowhere. It doesn't do that anymore. And the spawners seem to have gone. Uh, so there used to be a Dratini spawner like uh, in America that one of my friends went to like all the time. Had loads of, of Dragonites and whatnot. And that's gone. So they seem to have taken spawners uh, or like choke points for these spawners away and they've kind of spread it out a little bit more and also apparently they're going to be throwing in a few rarer Pokemon here and there because it's very very hard to get say you need a Hitman Chan and Lee like I need I can't find them anywhere so uh, they're hopefully going to be throwing those in a little bit more common but you know kind of spread out rather than all in one area so they've also done some buffs Vaporeon is going to be getting weaker because Vaporeon is just like OP at the moment and they're also bringing other things up so Gyarados is getting a bit more powerful for example, Snorlax is getting buffed uh, and etc etc so they're just doing a few balance changes because at the moment it's all about Vaporeon and if you have a good Vaporeon you pretty much beat in every single gym out there uh, and that's the update that's just come out so nothing major but some really good uh, balancing tweaks uh, and whatnot and I think it's really good that they keep on refreshing the game uh, and keep us wanting to come back to see what has changed Anyway, on to last night. Last night was the best night in Pokemon for me ever. Uh, we went to Bristol and we walked around Bristol uh, and we got so many Pokemon. I think I got about five new Pokemon uh, and I also leveled up. I got about 150,000 XP uh, last night alone. It was crazy. It was so, so fun. So. I've actually got this video here of me uh, evolving all of my Pokemon and I really want to show it to you guys and go through it with you. So let's go baby and have a look at this. So I was obviously really really close to quite a few different types of Pokemon. Uh, the biggest obviously being my Wartortle, nearly ready to get Blastoise, I can now do that. But starting off we have Diglett right here. Diglett is uh, ready to evolve, now this is a really low level Diglett, I couldn't find any high level Diglets out there at all. And getting the final Diglett candy, I was stuck on 49 Diglett candies for like a week. It was just hideous. 
But here he is, Dug Trio, baby. Ah, oh, he's so cool. This is one of my favorite Pokemons from the original Pokemon. He's just cheeky, you know. He's just he's just cheeky. Look at him here, bouncing around. And you can see there, we only have Vile Plume right, uh, as the final one to get. Look at them bouncing around, though. They are so freaking cool. And you can move them around, and then if you touch them, they do that. They all kind of sync together and hit together. And that's a 647 Dug Trio. So nothing crazy, but still a new Pokemon for me. And double XP because we had a lucky egg running. Next is Gloom, another very hard one to get. You need 100 candies for this. Uh, last night, I got 48 candies alone for it, uh, for my Oddish, which was crazy. And we're finally available to evolve our Gloom up into a Vile Plume, which, I mean, it speaks for itself. It's a lady with a big hat. And a very big hat at that. But Vile Plume is actually very, very strong. If you were able to get a high CP Vile Plume, put it in a gym, you'll be surprised how many people struggle with it. 1445, which is actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I would have liked it to be a bit more. But I've got some candies here as well. So obviously we can power it up, make it a little bit more powerful in the future. And hopefully it might actually become a little bit of a beast. So, next up is, uh, we can also see here that we got some new Pokemon that I'll show you later, some legendary kind of stuff. Uh, but here he is, Coughing. We're able to evolve Coughing to a Weezing. Now, this was the biggest Pokemon. You might, you might, why? Why is this the biggest Pokemon? I have only ever seen one Pokemon that I have not caught, and that is this guy right here, Weezing. I wasn't able to catch a Weezing, so he's been that one Pokemon on my Pokedex that has gone away forever. And oh my god, finally, we've got enough coughings to get a Weezing, baby, and my Pokedex is clean. There is no blank spaces. He's actually a really big Pokemon, really cool looking thing. I abs I love, I absolutely love uh, Weezing, but still, pretty damn cool. So up next, um, actually, we've got Kadabra here, as you can see, six candies away, very, very close to getting this Kadabra. Just need to find a few more Abras, and we should be there, uh, and that's another third tier evolution, of course. Tons of Pidgeys, um, we've got my Porygon there that is looking absolutely sexy. Scyther, Slowbro looking good there, Snorlax of course as well, there's Vile Plume. Here is two huge ones, Vulpix. Now, where I live, Vulpix is so rare, like so, so rare. I was lucky enough to get them in eggs, I've only seen one in the real world, all the rest are from eggs. And Vulpix evolves into a beast. It is Ninetales, one of the most beautiful Pokemon out there. Look at it, it's like, it's like an always yellowy, goldy kind of color. Uh, and Ninetales is just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I haven't actually seen one yet at all in the game, so to get one is stunning. It's a 1229, so not too bad. Again, we're kind of hitting the 2000 mark, so anything under 2000, for me personally, isn't like usable uh, gyms and whatnot. For you guys, it's probably awesome. For, obviously, it would have been awesome when I started earlier. But this is what we're here for. War Turtle, baby. An 869 War Turtle. Not bad, but we've got enough to power him up. So we're going to power him up a couple of times as well. This is going to be my first starter Pokemon third tier evolution. Oh, I'm so excited to get this done. This will also evolve up to a Blastoise. This is the original Squirtle. This is the, my starter Squirtle right here. So I was really hyped to have him build through our team. We're getting plus 22 each time. I uh, actually save uh, a few candies as well. So I save like four candies to see how much difference does it do. So it does 22 at the moment. When I get a Blastoise, how much will it uh, level it up, of course. So here we go. Hit the evolve button. Oh, it feels so good to finally do this. Like, to have War Turtle evolving was just the, the pinnacle of my Pokemon Go career. And look at this beauty. Blastoise, baby! Yes! I got him! I got him! I actually got him. My first third tier starter. We just need those two left there. Charizard. Oh, and it's a 1548. Uh, you can see I've got five candies, so we've got enough to power it up once. So I'm going to power it up once and see the difference. And there we go, plus 35. So again, pretty damn good, actually. Uh, a good one to level up right there. Pretty powerful, but he's not insanely powerful, but he's good. I really like him, really happy with him. And it's a Blastoise. It's a Blastoise. I mean, it's just, it's just stunning. So that is all the Pokemon that I could evolve. So I got loads of XP obviously from that, but I also want to show you the other Pokemon that we caught last night. We caught a few, uh, <clears throat> but the biggest one by far was this bad boy right here. Lapras 1801 caught in the wild. 
Yeah, that is right. And we have actually three Lapras candies, uh, so we can power it up and see how much Lapras is going to give us. I think it gives us 45, 41. There we go. So a really tanky Lapras right there. And one of the Pokemon I thought was going to hold back my Pokedex for ages, literally like ages, but still. It was such a good, it was such a good find. Um, and I can't, I don't think we got any others. Our Gyarados here, obviously, is pretty tanky uh, that I showed you last time. Uh, but we can power him up as well. We've got loads of magic card candies from going out. So we can actually level him up a little bit. We can max him out right here, actually. So let's max him out uh, to the top and see what CP we can get this Gyarados up to. Gyarados has actually been buffed a little bit. Uh, sorry, been actually... Uh, how do you say it's gone upwards? It's got better. I don't know. It's got better in this update. It's got a little bit more powerful, which is nice because Gyarados really should be one of the best Pokemon out there, like, by far. But there we go. A 2307. Oh, <laughs> Just such a crazy Pokemon. Dragonair as well. Trying to get some Dragonairs. We've got a 765 Eevee right here ready to evolve. So we're going to actually try and get ourselves a very powerful Sparky, uh, which is the Jolteon evolution. Because I haven't seen a powerful Jolteon. I haven't got a powerful Jolteon. And I'm not going to be... I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm bored of seeing bloody Vaporeons everywhere. Literally everywhere you look is a Vaporeon. So here we go. Eevee being evolved into Jolteon. Let's see what power we can get from a 765 Eevee into a Jolteon. Uh, I think I was expecting about 1,600, uh, which would be really, really good. We got 1,531, so not too far off at all. And that was pr pretty much my best night. That was like my best night out there. We did so, so well, so much sick stuff, uh, and we leveled up as well, which we'll be doing very, very soon. So, that is it for now, guys. Sorry that I couldn't show you actually going out and catching it. I had the footage, but it just corrupted for some reason, so we've had to do it like this. Uh, I also leveled him up to 1620. That's the most powerful Jolteon I've seen, so I'm really, really happy with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button down below. If you want to see more of this, smash the like button down below. And also, something crazy is going to be happening next week uh, that I am very excited to tell you about sooner uh, rather than later. But it's pretty crazy. Oh, we've also got a Cubone here to evolve as well. That's quite cool. Uh, but yeah, something crazy is going to happen. Obviously, we need to get those regional Pokemon. I've, got to, I've gone to America to get the American one. I just need to visit two more places. Let's see, maybe that'll happen. Until next time though guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, peace out.